the Naval Future Force, accelerating to the Navy and Marine Corps after next. Today's sailors and Marines are in a global competition for maritime superiority, one that is intensifying. The Navy's job is maritime superiority. For us to keep maritime superiority and deter conflict around the globe, not just today, but into the future, we need to maintain that technological advantage. Technological advantage begins at the Office of Naval Research. As we think about the world that we are operating in today as a Navy and Marine Corps, and then envision what that world looks like tomorrow, I think we recognize that the competitive pressures that we're under to maintain and potentially extend our competitive advantage is enormous. The path to victory is clear. The rapid fielding of new capabilities that are adaptive, interoperable, and sustainable. The world around us has changed. It has accelerated. That necessitates us as an organization, as a set of organizations, working together in a way that we better align our activities, we more appropriately allocate our resources, not just to the particular discipline that requires advancement, but at speed and at scale such that when necessary, we can double down on those things where we believe we really need them and the Navy and Marine Corps are echoing that need. To win, we must be the first to field decisive capabilities. So as we think about the processes that we will create to accelerate to our Navy and Marine Corps after next, speed becomes important. It's the speed of decision and it's the sense of urgency that we as leaders have to empower our people to make the decisions, take the risk, and not fear failure, but yet not engender a culture of failure as we move to try to get our product to the field at speed over and over and over at the pace the technology is being created. Our strategic advantage depends upon accelerating the cycle of technology development and fielding our new capabilities faster and more efficiently than our adversaries. When you consider the history of the United States Navy, the underpinnings of our advantage time and time again has been inextricably woven to technology. That's where we need to be if we're going to maintain our maritime superiority.